All right, the next part of section 7.6 deals with what's called the natural logarithm, another new concept. But I'm going to, first of all, call your uh, mind and your, your energies back to the last video on the natural base. If you remember the natural base, I said is the letter E, which is approximately 2.71828 dot, 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 et cetera. And I said the exponential form would be y equals e to the x power. Now, e to the y equals e to the x power also has an inverse. So we're going to talk about its inverse. And if you recall, the first thing we do is we switch x and y. So I write it as x equals e to the y power. And now if I was to solve that, as you learned earlier this unit, you do the log of both sides. So I'm going to do the log of both sides of the equal sign because i got to solve for y. I'm getting my power down to the front. So it's going to go to the front. And I'm going to have log of x is equal to y times the log of the natural base E. Now, if I'm going to solve for Y, I divide both sides by log base E. Loops. Write that properly. Log base E. And these are going to cancel out. And so this is what I end up with. And this piece right here, if I write it properly, is the log base e of x, because you've learned that that's what those mean, is equal to y. And there's the inverse. However, there is a special name given to anything log base e. Log base e is called the natural log. Make sure you write that down. Log base E is called the natural log. Now, I'm going to do a little erasing. So if you need to pause the video, go ahead. Otherwise, I'm going to do some erasing, and I'm going to rewrite what we've learned. First of all, the inverse of base E is Y equals log base E of X. And log base E has an abbreviation. On your calculator, anything that's log base E is called LN for natural log. So I can rewrite this as Y equals the natural log of X. Log base E is the natural logarithm. So some things you may want to take note of. Number one, the natural log of X is the inverse of e to the x power. That's number one. The second thing that we need to make sure we understand is when we solve equations, natural log and e to the x power undo each other. They are inverses. So if I'm going to solve an e to the x problem, I'm going to do the natural log and vice versa. These guys undo each other. So make sure you make note of that. Let's talk about graphing. Let's go back to the last video where we graph y equals e to the x power. And if you remember, we made a t-table. We made a t-table of values. And in that t-table, we had x and y. And I believe, if I remember correctly, we had x is negative 2, and y was 0.13. x is negative 1, y was 0.36. x being 0, it was 1. x being 1, it was 2.71. And last would be if x was 2, it was 7.3. Now, I'm going to do the best I can again and try and graph that. I'm going to graph it in blue as best I can on this smart board. 2.71 and 2, 7.3. So again, if we rem if I did this correctly, it's going to look something like this. 
And again, it's got an asymptote, just like just like our other log for our other exponential functions right there. All right, so that's the graph of y equals e to the x. Well, let's graph its inverse. And on the last slide, I told you its inverse is y equals log base e of x, which is the same as the natural log of x. Well, what do we do? If you're going to graph its inverse, we've already learned this unit. To graph its inverse, you switch x and y around. I'm going to switch these values. So on the bottom, I'll have negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. And on the top, it will be 0 0.13, 0 0.36, 1, 2.7, and 7.3. So now let's graph those. 0.13, negative 2 is going to be, yeah, that's as best I can right there. 0.36, negative 1 is going to be about right there. 1, 0, 2.7, 2.71 1 is, a, well, not quite there, maybe about right there. And 7.32, 7.32 is about right there. So your graph... Again, i got to do this as best I can. I apologize. The smart board's not the easiest to graph on. It looks something like that. So it's got an asymptote, this line right here, the y-axis. And remember, it's reflected across the line y equals x, that dotted line right there. So the blue graph is y equals e to the x. The red graph is y equals natural log of x, the two inverse functions. Domain. The domain of e to the x, I guess I'll write it way up here. The domain is the same as all other exponential functions. The domain of e to the x power is all real numbers. The range is the same as all other exponential functions as well which would be y is greater than 0. Well, for the natural log, for its inverse, it works the same way as all the other log functions. You switch the domain around and the range. So therefore, the domain is all x values greater than 0. And the range is going to be all real numbers. And that's the graph of natural log. One more thing. y equals e to the x has all the properties of earlier exponential functions. OK? y equals the natural log of x has all the same properties as the other log functions. It works the same way, so there's nothing new. Natural log of x still uses the product property. It still uses the quotient property. And it still uses the power property. All those properties that we learned earlier for logs also work for, oops, oh, lost.